Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the My First Game Jam Winter 2017. My First Game Jam is a game jam that encourages new jammers, um, developers to use new engines or new techniques, or just jam for the first time. The optional theme for this jam was cats and or dogs. I'm playing all of the games that were entered, about 10 per video for a minute each. Links to the individual games will be in the description, so you can check them out further. And at the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites over on Game Jolt's Fireside. All my info will also be in the description, so you can check me out, my Twitter and everything like that. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Next. We're playing Four Paws on Tony's Belly. Press space in front of Luke the Fox. Oh, okay. Ahoy, George. I'm Luke the Fox from Raspberry Forest. There are so many monsters in the forest right now. But no worries. My fluffy friend, I will guide you. Use left and right to move left and right. Jump by pressing Z. Oh, look at that jump. You look cute. Press two times Z to double jump. Okay. You are a cat, so you can climb walls. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. You can shoot, probably. Don't forget to collect four paws to go further. I'm gonna move on. Luke. I don't have time for your long winded explanations. I am an adorable cat. I like how we can see the planets in the background and stuff. Oh, I thought you'd be dead instantly and then you weren't. How do I get across there? Maybe if I... My double jump isn't actually that. Ah! I thought I was gonna run into this monster. These monsters that somehow don't actually die. I have like stun bullets as opposed to death bullets. That's four. Pause. One more. That thing looks scary. Yeah, I died. Oh, I'm all the way at the beginning. Darn it. Next. We're playing Lunar Chain. Could be Lunar. I feel like I said Lunar funny. Lunar. Alright, so I am this girl. Um, it's supposed to be a short demo. Wow. Uh, netbook is stuck on the screensaver. Okay. Can we play with video games? The PlayStation 1. A relic. Your favorite video game door kicker is missing. Oh, that sounds bad. I don't like it when people touch my video games. A bookshelf, no books. Okay. Guys who took my video game. They probably did. You're here. Come on in. Let's talk. Alright. I'm glad you arrived safely. Burr, it's a little chilly in here. Don't you think so? No. I see. So it's not so cold where you are, correct? Small talk is invaluable. It is inconsequential. In it is in inconsequential detail we lay the groundwork for the strongest memories. Me, I'm just an average Girl Scout, and your neighbor here is on this lonely mountain. Okay, maybe I'm too old to be a real Girl Scout, but I sell cookies. I and I wear a uniform. You can call me Scout. You're probably wondering about that strange room you just walked out of. Check it out. Go ahead, pick it up. Okay. You picked up a ticket. Now what? Yes, that's right. That's ticket number two. Free of charge. Aren't I great? You'll find these tickets throughout your stay here. Find them all to get the good ending. You probably noticed that clock with the number one on it next to the door in the gray foyer. That's where you put your tickets you have found. Try clicking on it when you leave this room. Your number of tickets will allow you to change the number on the clock as well as the destination beyond the door. Amazing, I know. What sort of place will you discover behind the veil, I wonder? Most likely in the sort of smallish rooms due to a relished... Rush development crunch, just some things can't be helped. You know what? You've been listening so patiently and your behavior has just been golden. I'll throw you another ticket. She gave you a work ticket. Stickers make the world go round. The shiniest sticker are often the best. I am, of course, talking about the precious commodity glitter. Glitter stickers, that is. A single glitter can power a small electric car for a day. A piece of one is worth dozens of wholesale cookie boxes. Just, just thinking about glitter, a few. 
the work pass I gave you is really something else. You can go outside and do something most people here can't. You can work for glitter. You can use the pass once a day. Every time you use it, you'll get one glitter. You may use your glitter to purchase certain items from me or others, but there's a catch. You can only use one glitter a day. Those are the rules of the sticker economy. So it's super tempting to hoard. Don't do it. Use your glitter as soon as you get it. Go ahead and put the pass somewhere. You won't forget about it probably besides a broken netbook or something. It about wraps it up tutorial. Did I explain so far? Great. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, that was a mouthful. Go back in the room. This is a clock. Give the clock a ticket. Put the ticket by my netbook. Work starts tomorrow. Got it. Alright, now what? Just gonna change the world? Now I've got an egg. A large egg, it's cold as ice. Okay, is that it? When I click on it, it goes away, which is kind of interesting. I mean, I don't really know what to do with the egg, but there you go. Time to go to sleep so I can go to work. <laughs> Next, we're playing token. All right, rules. Yeah, okay. Well, I probably should have learned the rules. That's wait, wait. <clears throat> rules. The game is to. I'm gonna read these. I'm gonna read these. Okay, I understand. So this is a cat. This is a sword. We hit next. This is his cat. His cat has the health of five. We can. Kill it, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so next we're betting on which cat can do the best. I want to add more. I shouldn't have added the... I want to take that off. I shouldn't have added the the cat on ahead of time, basically. Like, or the weapon, I should say. Let's do five. I need to roll some cards. So he's betting on his five. Do I click attack? Like, when's his turn over? Yeah, so I killed him, so I got more coins. You want your to reach 150 coins, or your opponent, opponent to reach um, zero. So, like, my cat's probably going to lose. Um, we'll add some more coins, but we can't add another thing, so. Yeah, he won that round. I need more cards. I'm not quite understanding how to get more cards. Huh, it's a very interesting game. Neat concept. Next. We're playing a dog's day out. Right, happy points. So we can pee on stuff. That makes us pretty happy. What else can we do? Pee on more stuff? Oh, do you not like it when we pee on stuff? We can pee on you. Oh wait, I'm being petted. Aww. I can pee for ages. Pet me. Yay. I can pee while being petted. This dog's got a great life. It's a very simple game, but it's cute. I like the hearts in the sky. I like the fact that the dog enjoys being pet so much. Look at that. Double points. You know, it's a small game, but it's a nice start. Nice idea. Next. We're playing a uh, little bomber. Alright, eat fish, poop in litter tray, ask yourself why you bothered. Oh, that is poop. We didn't poop in the litter tray. <laughs> this is a, a another simple but kind of funny game. Boom. I mean, there's one. Oh, it didn't count. Maybe because it's upside down? No, it did count. Awesome. So you have to eat fish, and then poop in the litter box. I think we crashed. We can also just stop, like, flying. Like, cut the engine, but that's, you know, not the best idea. There you go. Aw. Next. We're playing good boy. In quotes with an exclamation point. It's a game about fetch. Uh, you gonna throw the ball? You gonna throw the ball? Are oh, the balls over there? Okay, that's actually the sun. I totally looked at that like face and thought it was my owner and thought that he was going to throw the ball, but nope. We are actually a dog in a maze. 
I'm just running as fast as I can. Hoping to find the ball. Ball. Oh no. Boom. Dead end. Where's the ball? It'd be cool if, because we're a dog, we had a good n nose. I mean, that looks scary. So, we're gonna run away from that guy who's holding, you know, a sack, a bloodied sack. Didn't understand this became a horror game. Dead ends are suddenly very scary, because I know I'm going backwards. I died. Aw, that's sad. Didn't expect that at all. <laughs> Next. We're playing Heist, a fantasy visual novel. Okay. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff written here. Forathia. Forathia. A land where magic is as real as anything to the touch is comprised of various components. Iwata, the land of Shakura trees. Toroko, Torok, the land of vast mountains and forests of pine. Burok and Simbra, the land of desert and sand. Moriah Nukri, the land filled with huge mountains that block out the sun and paths that lead to various places in the land covered in black, and Moriah, the land of ancient temples and forests. All of these lands, though separate of each other, share a common thing, the mysterious dungeons that have been in these lands for years before the lands were governed by politics. Every dungeon is vastly different from the other. Some are small and can be trekked with ease. Others are not as small and are more dangerous to trek and to even come out alive and live the, to tell the tale of what lies in them. The dungeons spread around the lands of Fioria are designed to be a test of sorts for people who have studied the art of magic and desire to be true sorcerers. Though many take the trek, barely any come back alive intact with their body and sanity. And so our story begins in the land of Iwata, in a house where a black and white cat who has studied the art of magic has yet to realize what the fortune holds for him and for those whom he shall meet along the way. Hopefully I get selected. I've trained in magic for years since I was a child. I've got to stay confident as my father has taught me. I lied in bed contemplating over the magic that I've mastered and practiced and as well as the many books that lay stacked around my bedroom. Guess I'm somewhat of a bookworm, but it was helpful for me in the end. I'm just waiting on whatever. I'll be accepted into the dungeon program that I've read about in many books I have around me. While I contemplate over these thoughts, I'm making a gem that my father gave me levitate above me. A simple way to use magic, yes, but it helps me relax when I'm stressed or whenever I need to think. I can't be stressed over this matter. It won't do me well if I get selected or not. I'd be dishonoring my father and myself. To all that I have taught me was for naught and a waste of time. No, I'll try harder if I get chosen. I slowly bring down the gem I had levitating the air onto the table next to me. Well, I do feel a bit relaxed now, thankfully, though I wonder if I can find more stones by the caves, but I don't think I can find them like father can. I'm not that experienced yet. I chuckle at the remark I just said about me, poking fun at myself because I'm still so young in the art of magic. Suddenly there was a knock at my door. Who is it? I asked. Who is knocking at my door? But the voice I heard was all too familiar to me. It's your father, Kuro. May I come in? He asked me. You may enter. I answered back to his question of entry. Oh, sorry. I kind of like scrolled the page down too much. This seems like a very well written like book almost. It's almost a novel. Um, just the way that it's written and everything, it's page two, so you just, you're not really making decisions quite yet. That seems quite interesting. We're playing Santa Def. Alright, wave one. So we can change weapons, I don't think we have that many weapons. We can fire weapons, put rampart and turret to protect presence, so. I mean, do we have that much money? Shotgun, building, rampant, oh. Crap. Go away. Well, how much money do we have? We can build it here. Space. Does that work? We can't build here. Alright. Yeah, I figured they were on this side. Since I didn't put a turret over here and I didn't see any. Level up. So we can also buy different weapons, like a shotgun. And we can buy you know, a laser turret. Alright. So that's sort of a tree defense game. A Christmas themed tree defense. Right, so we can switch over to a shotgun. Bam. Cool. Protecting our gifts. Next. 
I'm playing Dog Park. So, basic. Oh, it changes the whole window. That's a bit weird. Okay, sorry about that. So, basically, we are dog. This is a dog part. That's a very big dog head. It looks like a little corgi. That's a swan. We're dogs in a dog park. You hit space, you can go to a new dog park. These guys clearly want to sniff my butt. Here, I have a butt. Look okay, at There's a swan in this dog park and a crow. So sometimes dog parks contain more than just dogs and another crow. I'm at space and go to a new one. And then realign my screen. Ignore the fact that the screen is kind of in a weird spot for my computer. But okay. You you look like a very pretty dog. Some little chicks. And birds. Not a lot in this park. In this park is a little patch for me to... Oh, I wish I could dig. I wish I could do stuff like dig. Dig, dig, dig. That'd be cool. Hey, and sniff. Just some little dog-like things. I like it. Look at all the little baby, baby swans. Baby swans. Very cute game. The developer said they were going to continue working on it until it felt like a real game, so that's pretty nice. I like the graphics. Next. We're playing the cat burglar. Alright. Level 1, idiot box. Objective yarn. I really want that yarn. It would be a great addition to my new toy collection. Just have to get past this grandma. She won't stop watching TV. I am the cat burglar. I mean, I can go mess up her TV. Oh, who turned off my... Oh, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Stop looking at me. Oh, I see you, cat burglar. Well, I mean, I'm faster than you because you're old, so... Success! I did it. Time to take this back to the base. I got balls and yarn. Beautiful. Uh, a place to sleep, Victor. I worked so hard to get a toy that I forgot I have nowhere to sleep. There must be some boxes in the garage. I'll have to be careful. Alex works out in there every day. I'm feeling thirsty. Mm, that's good. Ah, no. I'm not very good at being sneaky. I did it. Time to take this bag to the base. Right, bam. Look at that. I'm going to redecorate. You can go there. Yeah. Oh, that was a cute little game. I hope there's more levels. I like yeah. stealing the stuff from other people. <laughs> Next. 